Good morning and happy Easter, YouTube. You know what time it is. It's Sunday, so it's time for your pick a, pick a deck card readings. I call them pick a card readings, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, this is the General General. This is the Santa Muerte deck. This is the Mystical Cats Tarot. And this is the Anne Stokes Gothic Tarot. I'm going to give you 10 seconds of silence to pick your deck as always, and then... Timestamps will be in the description, as well as some very useful information, especially about a lot of new changes that have come to the channel just in this past week or so. Now, here come your 10 seconds, starting now. that I forgot to say okay let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna edit this in and say I'm so sorry let's go ahead and get started see you in the readings hello group number one and thanks for tuning in this week you guys have chosen the Santa Muerte Tarot this is one of my favorite decks so I hope you guys love it this is your general weekly reading for the week of April the 1st 2021 I hope you guys like the angle. I'm looking, I think you can see my desk, as see as it is. We don't have a lot of room here. And me, so hopefully everybody's happy. I'm trying to uh, scooch myself in. Yeah, it looks like you can see me. You guys are my test run, okay? Sorry. So your first card was the Eight of Cups. That definitely tells me you have been focusing on or I say focusing when you've been feeling like something's missing and you haven't been able to put your finger on what it is you've been trying to fill it with physical things um maybe shopping maybe money who knows it's not my place to guess really what you need is love and or spirituality the good news is right after that eight of cups I get the ace of cups so you'll be getting some blessings in those areas just try and keep your cool says temperance keep it cool wait it out it's coming your way um i get a sense this, is, this may be somebody who's single or who's going through some relationship stresses and is wondering if they're going to be single and doesn't want to be keep your cool you're letting your negative mindset get to you and we don't want to do that here let me I just realized you're crooked as hell. I'm so sorry. I'm getting in the swing of things, okay? I'm just playing. You're sticking to this negative mindset, and it's not that you mean to. It's just so hard. Every time things start to go good, you start to wonder what if, and yeah, you can't help it. You're fighting with yourself right now, and that's the worst fight in the world to be in because nobody's going to win that fight. I say that because the Five of Wands pops up. Next, we have the Eight of Pentacles. You've got a long, hard road ahead of you with a lot of hard work. But if you can stand in there, take that hard work, listen to your intuition the way the High Priestess says, and just do your best to be yourself, be you, do you, stay you, you'll get through this tower moment and you will be okay. I promise it, it tower moments are the worst because everything you don't need is being taken away. So you feel like you're stuck in this pattern of loss, of losing, of no, there's nothing good in life. And really, you're making room for all the good to come. So try and keep that in mind as you go. And just remember, the more you lose, the more room there is to gain. I know it sucks. I know it doesn't help in the moment, but... It's what I have to offer. And if things are really bad, you need somebody to talk to, my inboxes are always open. My social media info, right down there, right in that description box. Hit me up anytime. Just let me know you're from YouTube. And it may take me a minute. I do get a hell of a lot of messages, but I will do my best to answer you as quickly as I can and get things under control for you as quickly as I can. So, unfortunately, this isn't the greatest of readings this week, but it is better than some I've had. And 
where there can always be better, there can always be worse. Remember that. I will be back shortly with your weekly general love reading. If you don't watch that, then I'll see you today in a couple hours for the live. I am doing live today, even though it's Easter, so it won't be as long, but I will be there. So hopefully I will catch you all there. Until next time, please click that subscription button if you haven't already. Click that bell so it'll let you know whenever I go live or post. Whatever I do, it'll tell you. And read that description box. There's so much down there that people are missing. It'll really help you, I promise. Take a look, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hello, group number two. You guys have chosen the Mystical Cats Tarot, which is just freaking adorable. And this is your weekly general reading for the week of April the 1st, 2021. Actually, you know what? I said April the 1st. And this actually is going into a, the week of the 5th. So, my bad. Week of the 5th. I have to correct that first one. Oops. So, week of the 5th. And your first card is the Hierophant. So, this is a good time to get in touch with your spirituality, your religion. Uh, you may be even having to choose between your morals or values, traditions, and doing something that goes against them. I hope not. I feel like, though, this is more um, maybe a wedding, maybe a victory. There's something you've done that you're celebrating. You've won. And with this lovers, yes, I wonder if there's a wedding this week. Somewhere in your family or a proposal. So there is that. This isn't even a love reading and that popped up. So, hey, really good news there, right? Next, we have the wheel, which is the wheel of fortune. Please remember life is a big circle. To have life, we have death, and to have death, we have life. To have good, we have bad. To have bad, we have good. That's how life goes. So for every bad thing, there's a good thing coming. Just wait. Again, four of earth, another marriage card, another celebration card. I feel like things have been going really badly for you, and now is your good time. We have the chariot. You're really going places, and in fact, I feel like there is some travel coming, especially if there's a marriage. I bet this is speaking of a honeymoon. I do have the five of cups, so try not to focus too much on the negative. Remember, for every negative thing, there's at least one positive thing. Even if it is something as simple as just having a roof over your head, you have a reason to be grateful today. Always. Try keeping your gratitude journal if you don't believe me. Just write down every day at least one thing that you're grateful for. You'll see soon enough. The Fire Queen. This is the Queen of Wands. This is a very passionate, driven, fiery woman. She's got entrepreneurial energy. She's the type of the woman who wants to be her own boss. And right next to her is the king. So this would tell me that the partners are very well matched, um, very much alike, both very fiery, very passionate. Everything I just said about her goes to him, but greater. This could also be you developing, growing, becoming more of yourself. Any way you look at it, that is a reason to celebrate. And finally, we have the Ace of Cups love, spirituality, all those good things, and you're getting the blessings and good things to look forward in them. This is a really good week. Like this is, I cannot beat this reading. I could not do a reading this good if you paid me to. Enjoy this week. Even if I've, even if I've misread this entire reading, the energy here is so good. You're going to have a good week. I can tell you that now. This is going to be a very good week. So, get out there. Enjoy it. Make the most of it. Remember, especially right now, every day we have is a blessing in and of itself. Um, make sure you're enjoying it as such. Okay? Before I leave, please make sure you're clicking that subscription button and clicking that bell to be notified whenever I go live or post a video. 
I go live every day. Everything you need to know in the description box. Take a peek. Things have changed. There's so much going on, especially this past week. The channel has really come through some changes. So make sure you check it out. I know it seems like a lot to read, but just at least once. Just once. You have to go down and get your timestamps anyway, right? Right. So until next time, whether it be your love reading in the general that's coming up or the live. Yes, I'll be live even though it's Easter. I will see you soon. Until then, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. Hello, group number three. You guys have chosen the Anne Stokes Gothic Tarot. And this is your reading for the week of April the 5th, 2021. Uh, I did mess up in the first reading and say the first. I'm going to have to fix that. I feel so dumb. Uh, that's what happens when you're falling behind. Your first card is the King of Wands. Things are getting... Wow. If you want to work for yourself or... Um, you want to make some career moves, now is the time. Because I just got the Queen of Wands right after the King. So I feel like you could be looking at a promotion... You could be looking at getting some help in, somebody to train. You could be looking at getting freedom to actually have your own business. And I say that because all the way at the bottom I have the Knight of Wands. So of course, you know, with the court cards, you know, people, places, people, energy, or yourself. Right, right. I'm going to go ahead and say this is you right off the top of the bat. Right? Just boop. That's you. I'm actually reading this a little bit differently because I feel like I should start with the Knight of Wands. You want to make changes in your career, in your life, uh, your creativity, something. There's something that you are moving to make changes in. The changes are coming and you're going to grow fast. You're going to go from beginner to master like that. So that is something to look forward to. Will it be this week? No. But this week starts the seeds to that growth. Celebrate that. Right now you are in a period of spiritual growth with the hermit. So you've been spending some time alone. Probably just nestled in your room doing your thing. It's time to go out and celebrate. The Three of Cups says spend some time with your friends. Get out there. Have fun. Do you, boo. Death says it's time to make some changes. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't make some changes now. Something tells me going out with your friends and having fun is what's going to lead everything into becoming this king and queen of wands that I started with. So get out there. Make those changes. It's time to shake things up and see what happens. The Two of Pentacles tells me you've got a lot of balancing to do, but you can do it. The universe is going to help you because you're meant to do this. You don't know it, but you've got a little belt holding those coins that you're juggling, keeping them from falling. It doesn't feel like it, but spirit has you. The universe has you. Your higher power has you. The high, the high priestess tells me you know that. Even while you tell yourself, nah, I'm wrong. You know that. You just need to learn how to listen to your intuition and believe it. Trust me, I know. I'm in the same boat as you, boo. I'm in the same boat. It sucks. But once we learn to listen to that intuition, you'd be amazed where it'll take you. Believe me, you. Now, before I leave, let me tell you this. If you haven't clicked that subscription button already, please do. As well as the bell, I go live every day. You want to be notified. You want to know. You want to be there. You don't want to miss the fun times and the chances for live readings. Click that bell. Also, make sure you read that description box at least one time. Things have changed on this channel, especially in this past week. And I want everybody up to date and to have a chance to participate. Make sure you read it. Even if you just hit highlights and only read what catches your attention, please, at least once, read that description box. I will be right back with your general love reading and hopefully with your month of April reading. If that isn't out today, it will be out this 
tomorrow or Tuesday. So keep an eye out for those. I will be live today, even though it's Easter, so keep an eye out for that. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.